Uh, hello, my name is Shabazz Durrani, and I'll be showing you how to use a Pringles Can Enigma machine. And today I will be um, using um, the Enigma machine to uh, decrypt the, or to encrypt the word hash function. And to do that, you have to make sure that your reflector B and your input output have the gray bars that are parallel on each side. And then for our assignment, our instructor wants us to use the first three letters of our first name, so in this instance I'll be using SHA for my letters, and uh, I will begin. Uh, first we have to have uh, the plug board uh, set up with uh, the correct parameters that were given to us in the assignment, and we also have to make sure that um, the ring settings were um, set to um, the name. Uh, and then we'll start. Alright, so SHA, and I'll be finding the first word H. So I'll be turning the ring down to B, and then I'll be finding H. And I found H, and it, since it has no, um, no plug board, I'll just be following the H. Um, so H goes down to here. A over to E to Y to D and then from D it goes to N and then from N it will go to C and then from C it will go to L and L has uh, the associative uh, plug word I, and so instead of L, we'll be putting out I for the first letter. And then we'll have to step the rotor three towards us down to C, and then we'll have to find A, and A has an associative letter P, and so we'll find P and trace that. All right, so P, trace that to G to M to K from K to X X to Y Y to Y Y to Y2W, which has the associative plug board X. Uh, and then I have to turn it to D, the next one, and I have to go to S, and S has the word Q, and then from Q, I will trace the word, and yeah, miss a Q there, alright, so Q. Um, Q goes to V, Z, to X, to K, to M, make sure it's straight so the lines are always followed. And then M to H, G to S to M. I think this thing might be out of order. Uh, M to U to J. Yeah, it's supposed to be in another X. I'm obviously did this incorrectly. Um, so S H D and go to Q. That's why it's important to make sure everything is straight, so you don't make any errors in finding the correct number. So find Q again. It's kind of hard <laughs> for some reason. Uh, Q. All right. So Q. Make sure other things are straight. Uh, so Q, V, Z, to X, to K. I think this is already got messed up last time. K to M to. H, 
Okay, I see where my problem was. I got looped around there. Uh, H2, W, and another X. Sorry about that error there. I got, <laughs> I got looped up, uh, and so I have to step it uh, again. So to E, and yeah, that shows you if you get one, um, one thing wrong, it'll give you the completely wrong wrong number, and so I go to H again, and since H has no associative word, I'll just follow H, and H will have a different setting this time, since I stepped the rotor towards me a few times since I used it. So H to S to F. to A, to H, to T, to Q, to M. And that is the correct word. Um, F, so I have to step at one towards me again. Make sure this is correctly in place. Um, F, T, uh, N, so I'll go to N. And then from N, let me see the T. Okay, so N, T, F, A, H, U, R Z, which will give us. Uh, I got that wrong. I got the Z. Um, so F Z. Oh, I got the totally wrong. I was following the totally wrong thing. Apologize about that. So Z. Um, also F is Z. So I gotta find Z. Um, I totally brain farted on that. Okay, so Z. R U H A F T N and what is T? I'm go to U after stepping this one towards us again. And U is empty. So we just follow the U. So U, J, S, M, U, straight across J, I, and I to K. And then we step this towards us once again to H. Make sure it's straight so we don't get messed up. And we find N. And N is T. And then T follow the lines. And we must put us a T. J. J straight across to J to U, down to M, down to S, down to K, and up to I, which is L. And C, after stepping it towards us once again, to I, find C, which is M, M, C. Follow the line, M to X to C to V to Z to L up to Z down to... Uh, I got that one wrong, I gotta redo it. Okay, just to make sure everything's correct. Um, S H I and then that 
thought was C M. Okay, C M. M. Oh, uh, sorry. It's, I gotta find M. Uh, I got. I messed up on that. Okay, yeah, because the C is stuck to M. Okay. M. Uh, to X. To C. To V. To Z. To H. To F. To X, which is W. There we go. And then T. After stepping it towards us once again, to J, and then T is N, so go to N, so follow N to B, to Z, to X, to K. K to M, M to N, N to U, yep, uh, and I is next, after flipping this to K, and I is L, and L is here, so L to Z to C to V to Z to L to B to uh, I got that wrong. Um, okay, so I is L, L, Z, C, V, V, Z, H. P A oh. Um so went from H to P to A. And now oh, second to last number. After stepping it one more time towards us. Uh, S H O and then find O and O is V and V is here. And go from V, follow the line to Q to T. to O, short route to N, V, V to B, B to L, which is I, and one last number letter. Right, S, H, M will be the final setting numbers. So we'll go from S, H, A to S, H, M. And then I have to find N, which is T. And T goes straight across to F, down to P, up to E, up to G, down to R, down to T, and right down to G, which is J. And that completes the encryption for the hash function word, or uh, for the word hash function, which is H to I, A to X, S to X, H to M, F to T, U to K, 9 to L, C to W, T to U, I to A, O to I, N to J. The first three letters of the starting key are S-H-A, and the final three letters of the, of the end key should be S-H-M.